Tunga Suritsi, Felix Aupalungu Wunga, Puongi Tumio Chayo Wunga, Uhak Tiu Langa Wunga, Bishimat Chunga, Isumaku Ilin Yevangani, Tana Isumaku Sakati Lao Yanga, Kaila Tui Humagata Ilin Yatinit. Hello, and welcome to the Isuma School Perseverance Podcast. This year, Isuma is bringing you a series of podcast episodes around the topic of school perseverance. On these episodes, you will hear stories, testimonials, and experiences coming from school staff, teachers, leaders, students, and community members from Nunavik. Our guests discuss healthy lifestyles, their education journey, family life, and share their insights, tips, and tricks on how the community as a whole can contribute towards school perseverance. My name is Felix Alpaluk, and I will be your host for this season of the Isuma School Perseverance Podcast. On today's episode, we're here in Montreal, and our guest is Sarah. Sarah? Welcome on the podcast. Ah, nagok me. Sarah sa misaho vunga inu rami utsunga. Nuna viksi vunit sa vut me ilisaho ilisaho hatta vunga 2023-2024 me. Hi, hi. Tell me about the day that you applied to NS for the first time. How are you feeling? Um. Tat sumunga nuna viksi vunit sa vut mo ilisaho hatta vunga me. So sut sa ole rama, guma ni rasuru lerman, um, alla silo ravunga, ili hatau rasola hisitsunga, ipinir ni rilo raga, um, I was excited, ipinir ni rilo raga, imini upigusutsunga lo, I was proud of myself, um, and Hano, like I couldn't wait to hear about the results or like if I got in. And now that you're you're in NS, you're in the program. Mm-hmm. How is it different from what you expected? Is it any different? Is it better? Is it? Uh, walk me through your thoughts. Um, I heard that the program helped so many of the students, even those who has children. I already knew that it was a good program for me as a mom. And it is. Ikaruk si makoto ilisakta ka uto tiriluro halo na tito alla ni me ato ak si ni me lo amalo hano tuki si ni mangama um it's better than I thought it would be. Those are some great news. Um, You know, we hear so many great comments about former NS students. They've been through the program. It keeps evolving. It keeps getting better. Mm -hmm. And it really, it really prepares people for college or university. Um, But even for those who just want to do NS for one year, it's a, it's a great program. Where where in that program are you at? Yeah, it is a pr- great program. Um, um, it teach you on if you want to like continue your South routine life and like go to college and or if not. If you don't like living in the South, you just have one year and you can like finish this program and just go home and like wait a few more years if you're and to see if you're ready to go to other colleges. Um, For me, I am for sure going to um, fashion designing. That's my goal like in five years, not the following year. Um, it's uh, because of my children. If they grow older, I am very interested in going back for fas- fashion designing. Why fashion designing? Why did you pick that? Inutsuta miksuti kwa Um 
susut sa kama o vanga uh, ilisay ko matsungalo ilitsirelo tika kingo vakti non amalo o virakto tin non ilisay ko tiki hatta ko magarang watak um, hitok ngano o vanga lo ay I want to go to fashion designing to learn more on how to like um fix thing things properly um like fix the zipper or make pockets zippered pockets or like dresses um cuz I want to teach our young youth and children Um, I want to have more knowledge on sewing to pass down to our youth. It's also my understanding that you you're currently a full time student, but also a full time mom. So you're combining your personal life, school, your business, your future aspirations. How do you manage all that at the moment? just go day by day like um it's all different the weather from down here and up north it's different but this time um this fall i was late on making parkas for my children because of the weather it was very different um i just go day by day like clean for the day and then sew so for tomorrow or like homework first all the time it depends on your day <laughs> that's so true that's kind of how we embed a routine as well right because mm-hmm. you have to make sure that you're doing good in ns you're keeping your grades up you're going mm-hmm. to school Your kids are going to school. Um, you're you're trying to maintain all that at the same time in an urban setting like Montreal. Mm-hmm. So how has that been for you at first? And how has that been for your kids? Overwhelming. Um, at first, my kids wanted to go home. But um, since we started having hockey, um, practices and one of my daughter is also joining competitive hockey team hockey saved me at that time in the beginning of beginning of the fall um it was overwhelming but also exciting fun um trying to balance all of our mood was um a good thing like think think first before you do you choose to do something that you will regret or like i hear you on that do you plan on uh, continuing to play hockey how has that contributed to your to your studies has it impeded your studies or has it only helped um it helped me with my children but for me um when we started having our assignments coming in i had to put it aside so um my assign assignments were more important for me to continue my hockey practices yeah thanks for sharing that it's uh it's kind of part of being a student right you have to You have to manage all that at the same time. So mm-hmm. good on you for prioritizing your studies, but also good on you for also embedding mm-hmm. that sport and keeping it, keeping your kids active through it. <gasps> Speaking of sports, uh, did you ever hear about Naturalit hockey? Yeah, my we already got a message from them to like say. If you're if ever your girls come back down here for themselves for college, they're invited to like join the team, because at that time in 
like maybe five years, I think. Um, they're planning to have girls team. That sounds very promising. For all those listening who don't know what Naturalit Hockey is, Naturalit Hockey is a program that's also developed and funded by ISUMA. Um, it's a hockey team that's based here in Montreal. And from my understanding, and I heard it here first from Sarah, Naturalit plans on having a women's hockey team in the future. So that looks sounds promising. I'm mm-hmm. wishing that uh, your kids get to play hockey with Naturalit eventually. Yeah. I wish to. <laughs> you know, Sarah, I, I also, I'm very curious to know, what advice would, would you offer to your past self from 15 years ago? I'd say to myself that wake up every morning and go to school because um, I was learning in French as a student at primary and secondary, it was hard for me to um, understand all the French and like write in French. I always wished that I went to school every day, every morning, every afternoon, like every school day we have and like listen. Well, interestingly enough, I have another question for you. You're here in your present day. What advice would you offer to your future self 15 years from now? Mm, I'd say always prioritize your children at first all the time. Even though when they're like adult or when they're will, if they are grown adult, always prioritize your children. And... To advise myself to change the community for the better. Can you tell me more about that? Mm, to have more like activities after school. To have the kids busy during the evening and then like be ready for bed earlier. So that they can like sleep throughout the night, wake up in the morning, and go be ready for school. In the context of your studies right now, how do you define a healthy lifestyle? Learn to have your routines, and um, uh, Isuk inik sa hatagarang ngot to si kakalagapi o virakdoin unno hagto vinut sone tahan na tuman amalo suhat singo agat sa hatorvi uto tigilugo hagisuro torvi hagirat sa ngalutin nirit sa hatol tilo tako ato tit sa ngalutalo re Well, that's really interesting. It actually leads me to my, and another question that I think you'll, you'll find no problem answering. What role do parents play in school perseverance? In other words, what's the best way the parents can support their kids? Ana no rule ta hitok ngatin nik susut sa serlo ta amalo karong ng sa serlo ay ilisag ay ay hag ni ming ilisag ni sunguru am sunguru alo lang ang maino siyo ilone at ok ni hatsya lang ang ma siwo nang me am 
So before coming to NS, you were doing other stuff. There was a, a time between when you finished high school and when you started NS. Walk us through your life experience then. Graduated Suta Piyari Rusikta Suta Secondary Five Me Nutarat Sahasimarama, my first child. Um, Hikake Nare Hakasi Marunga Tema Nutaraktari Simalak Sunga Ilise Ying Osimarunga Ihaili Saknimik Gym Teacher Osimarunga Daga Hikare Lake Nare Halahi Simarunga Nutarakta Reha Nutarat Star Relatovinut Sunga He took Maharama four Ning Panini Ilo Naining Inu Zeuman Ili Seyi Mo Uti Hatta Simat Sunga Gym Teacher Osimalik Dunga Grade 2 Ni Ili Seyi Osimalik Me Yunga Ili Seyi Hatta Simak Oa Sunga Tema Hikakein Nes Lor Me Yunga 2019 Milo Ilisa si Laura may yung starting a business course. Teko na taka business may ukwi sila hiyo vinirunga. Sarah Samsak Designs. Atinga. Teko na ilisak to vinirunga. Ilitsigi alaw tiri ko malahilo ang walaw raka. Alla siya kung nako malunga. Tuki hat siya to ni tuki mot siya to ni. Ang malo... Hanu tuin na kiyugu tiri rumarak nevang alla alla kung nasaya ko malunga alla nikot taga tamaw nga enes mo ili sa kaya lahilaw rin nga Is there anyone out in Nunavik right now that you want to send a message out to? Ilan na ka inut ramit nakok meik Karong ng sa tao hatta kama inut Romeo hati no vangagala hati ging ita kaluwag ka amalo ana anak ko ka nakok may taka ikarok si matseo ang matao vanig hitok ng kalu. What is your message for Nunavik when it comes to school perseverance? I want to say that it's never too late to go back to school. Even if you do not have high school diploma, you still have time to go high school di- uh, to get your high school di- diploma to study your like for example, if you didn't finish your secondary three, you can start off with secondary three and then go along the way in adult ed. Um, it's never too late to get that because you're going to need it in, like for example, in 10 years or five years. If you want to start suddenly start school and 
continue your education, even if it's like uh, 10 years after you um, dropped out or like finish your high school, you still have time. It's never too late. You can be as old as you are and like just continue. It's it's even easier when you're an independent adult. <laughs> and by that, I'm sure you mean a single person with no kids. Even with kids. Even with kids. Yes. Right. Yeah. Well, it's so true. It's a. Uh, it's almost like a. Well, it's an added layer of challenges, you know, mm-hmm. because you're responsible for these kids. Um, so, but also, oh, that's also very interesting because independent adult, but also as Nunavut, um, whether people out listening to the podcast right now know it or not, Inuit get education benefits. So that's a, a huge mm-hmm. leap that Inuit get to access education and it helps a lot. Yeah. So... I'm glad to see that you're in NS now and that you have future plans for uh, fashion designing. Uh, that's It sounds very promising, and I'm sure a lot of people in Nunavik uh, would be really interested to talk to you about that. Mm-hmm. And I also want to say that um, I recommend Nunavik Sivunitsavut for those who are like, who are scared on getting into like big, colleges like if you finished your school like three years ago and scared to try and get into one of the colleges I recommend you to start off with Nunavik Sivunitsavut you have so many um, help from that program and even if you have children they also can go to school down here you have daycare, you'd have apartment if you if you have your kids with you. Like it's never too late. Just if you just try and you're doing it, you'll say, Oh my god, I'm doing it. It's it's a great program. Thanks a lot for sharing that. Uh it provides a lot of value for people who maybe are not there yet or maybe are st- they're starting to think about it. Mm-hmm. Um, it provides a lot of good insights. Once again, thanks a lot for that. So we heard a lot of really good stuff today, Sarah. Thanks for for shedding light onto that. You know, you you spoke about what it is to live down south, go to school here at NS with kids, um, adjusting to the city life. Um, but you also talked about how important it is to. Um, for parents to want to help their their kids uh, through several different things, such as you know recognizing efforts, helping with the homework, and being very consistent with it. And uh, we heard a lot of good stuff. You know, healthy lifestyle, hockey. You did mention that your daughters are interested in being in Naturalit hockey, uh, the Isuma hockey program. So we're looking forward to that. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, thanks a lot for your contribution today on this podcast, Sarah. Nakumi Marialu. Asuru Nakumi. Inu hatikai kangusut sa pagasi nuna hakasi manihnit kayu si tuin nakit inu si nungunyang imat. Developed exclusively for you to enjoy, you will now hear a song titled "Sapilichnak," written by Charlie Takik, center director in Saluit. Produced and sung by Kathy Apujakchuk from Kang Swalukchuk, recorded with the help of Mikami Ananak. The artistic cover art is brought to you by Teresa Ananak from Kang Swalukchuk, full-time student in multimedia at Collège Montmorency. <laughs>